What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to Saiyan Shredded, episode two. We got Panda here. Hello. And today, we already took you all his macros, cardio sessions, everything. We talked about diet last week. Today, we're going to talk about how his week went. How'd your week go so far? Mm, not bad. Lost my wallet. Could be, could be better. I meant like dieting fitness-wise. Oh, oh. Pretty awesome. So we're going to sit down, go through his check-in, go through changes that need to be made according to his progress that he has this week. But it's early. I'm tired. Let's get some pre-workout. <laughs> All right, so for today's workout, we're gonna be hitting a push workout, so chest, shoulders, and triceps. We're gonna be hitting incline dumbbell first. Shout out to Iron Master for hooking up the dumbbells that go up to 120 pounds. I actually gave it a try a few weeks ago. These dumbbells are heavier than the rubber ones in the gym. I'm not sure how much heavier, but they definitely feel a lot heavier. 120 pounds here does not feel a lot heavier than 120 pounds at the gym, but it's all good. It's actually better for us because that means you got more weight to work with. Mm -hmm. But yeah, starting off the workout with incline dumbbell press. You guys can follow the workout along, so let's go. Go straight back, straight forward, just go nice and slow. I can hardly believe it. Never thought we would stop this rolling stone. Don't know where I'm going. But I know that I'm Tick old guy, right? Yeah, yeah. And he he works out in just this. And I'm like, yo, Holmes, like, I can see your dick, dude. Like, there's like little kids running around here, dude. I, I just... like tights for a leg day, but it has to be the long tights. Um, and I always wear a shirt that covers. covers. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Like some sometimes his shirt is like up to here, and you just see straight dick, and you're like, yo, like put it away, homie. <laughs> I'll just put it back down because that was the end of my story. All right, so Panda, you got your week one check in. Yeah. All right, so looking at your check-in, you can see that most days is really low. Then you have like a really high day, which is almost kind of like a repeat day. When dieting, remember guys, averages is all that really matters, but consistency is key. So yes, it's great if your macros like average out, but for me, I prefer like consistency, you know? Okay. Cause then obviously your weight won't go up and down depending on how much you eat or how little you, little you eat that day. So based on the same shredding program, what changes do you feel you should make this week? Um, I'll drop my carbs a little to like 125. So do you feel like um, a refeed day would be easier for your schedule? Yeah. Yeah. So all a refeed day is, is a day where 
macros are a little bit higher, typically carbs. So it's a day where your carbs are typically higher. It could be a double, car double the carbs, 100 more carbs. It doesn't really matter. But as long as it averages out to a deficit, really, it's okay. And then what's your refeed going to be? Um, maybe like 225. And the same everything else, 50 yeah. fats and 190 grams of proteins. Yeah. Yeah, so you're dropping proteins as well? Yeah, to 190. Okay. Oh, cardio. I hit cardio. I did no problems there. 100% <laughs> did the cardio. You're actually getting really good at cardio now. Yeah. When we first started working out, cardio was like really sporadic. But I think as of like the last maybe three, four months. I've been really good with the cardio. Yeah, it seems like it's something like you actually enjoy. Uh, it's not, it's <laughs> no, not. not that far. <laughs> so for your cardio, um, what do you want to increase it to? Probably keep it the same at five sessions a week, but instead of 300 calorie sessions, I'm probably going to jump it to 400. Yeah, I think that's good because right now we're crunch time. <laughs> the <laughs> year is coming to an end <laughs> and yeah, you got to just increase your deficit. Yeah. Again, remember guys, the goal isn't to lose weight as fast as possible. Um, the goal is to do it slow and steady, as healthy as possible, without going too crazy because we don't want to lose muscle mass yeah. and we don't want to kill panda. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. So Agreed. those are the two goals, you know, and we want something sustainable. Studies show that the slower people lose weight, the more likely they are to keep it off, you know, and the last thing you want to do is do these roller coaster type diets. So yeah, once we get panda to 180, we want to keep him there and have him maintained there and then he can go for, he can reverse into a lean bulk from there. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, so new macros. 125 carbs, 50 fats, 190 proteins, refeed day, two, 225. 225 carbs, 50 fats, 190 proteins, and cardio went up another 500 calories. So he's, he's doing 2,000 calories, five times 400, 2,000 calories a week. And from there, we can keep gauging his body weight. Right now, your body weight fluctuated a lot. So last week, as you guys saw, Panda weighed 205 after coming here. His average weigh-in this week is 201.2. He dropped lots of water weight from the Ariolo day and a bunch of water weight, which is all good. We're gonna continue this up and we'll get him under 200 by next week. Yeah. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. All right, so Panda, tell them why your carbs are super high on Saturday. So, um, I had a friend in town celebrating the 30th birthday. This year, by the way, is my 30th year. So I have a lot of like, you know, celebrations to the big three. Oh, um, anyway, I forgot that it was, you know, her birthday and not mine. I got really, really drunk. Um, How many shots did you drink? Probably like seven or eight. For some reason, I, did, I, I came outside the club um, everyone's getting in a cab about to you know go get some food to eat um, for some reason I thought the cab was my enemy so as I walked outside the club I looked at the cab and I was like no you will not take me and I ran <laughs> I sprinted all the way to the other side of the block by the way I had no idea my cardio was that good because now that I'm thinking about the distance it's quite far um, I proceeded to trip over something fell into the bushes Probably your own two feet. Probably. Um, yeah, fell into the bushes. My friends followed me. Thank God. So, so after I passed out on the grass, my friends came, took a photo next to me, made a meme, and then um, proceeded to take me to a karaoke bar while I proceeded to sleep further on the benches. Fell to the ground, woke up, sang a whole new world, and then I woke up at home. So this is, this is me, passed out on the grass. <laughs> And then this is me, passed out in the karaoke room. And then this is me, singing a whole new world. <laughs> yeah, more of the story. Moderation is key, but it helped me meet my carbs. All right, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave it a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, turn on post notifications. Also, Saiyan Army drop coming on Black Friday, 12 a.m. EST. So stay tuned for that for programs. Also, check out SaiyanArmy.com. Coaching, email me, gokuflex at gmail.com. Let's get you started hitting your goals for the New Year's. And yeah, let's all keep on ascending. Much love, strength, and honor. Aloha. Peace, easy homes.